What's going on, y'all? You already know this is AP on the spot. Thank you for watching. And of course, as always, if you love and like this content I'm providing, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Now, I don't know about you, but me, I am still on a high from last Sunday's iconic and historic Super Bowl performance with Mary J. Blige, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar, Eminem, and 50 Cent. Not only was it the best halftime performance of all time, along with Prince, Prince's halftime performance from some years ago, a couple years ago. Now, one of the things that really caught my attention was Quest Love, drummer from The Roots. Quest Love really raised my eyebrows to a certain extent when he got on Twitter and he was shocked to find out that Dr. Dre could actually play the piano. Now, my first question was when I read this tweet and I heard this, I was like, Quest Love, what in the absolute hell are you talking about? Listen, Dr. Dre is a producer extraordinaire who's been producing music and hip hop and R&B for over 30 years since like 1987, 1988. So why wouldn't you think that Dr. Dre could play the piano, the grand piano or a keyboard in general? We're going to get into that in a second. But Questlove's tweet, Questlove got on Twitter and said that he missed Eminem taking a knee because of how surprised he was at Dr. Dre's piano playing skills. He said, I'm going to be real honest. I was so shocked Dr. Dre knew his way around the piano. I totally miss him kneeling. Questlove replied and responded back on Twitter by saying, laugh out loud. I guess I kept my eye on Dre. Gotta be the producer in me. Now, Dre played a little bit of the, uh, of the Tupac classic, I Ain't Mad At You, which sampled the barge song a dream classic song both songs are timeless and classic then dre went into still dre if you don't know scott storch did that piano track that piano loop that the piano melody that from still dre the classic piano melody that wasn't actually dre playing it it was producer scott storch now scott storch is a producer extraordinaire and at one point in time him and dr dre were super close and they were like dr scott storch was actually one of dr dre's in-house producers at one point that he collaborated with very very extremely often and ironically scott storch was a member of the roots crew the roots band quest loves the roots crew roots band and so this kind of brought me to a bigger question does quest love know something that we don't know about dr dre and his production and his lack of being able to play certain instruments. We all know, if you don't know, Dr. Dre has an array of producers that he's always worked with. And sometimes people have questioned, even myself, I have fallen into this category where I have questioned Dr. Dre's production. Production, like did he really produce all of his hits or did he have you know a team around him that really kind of was like his ghost producers, but he took the credit for a lot of his hits and a lot of the tracks that we've heard from Dre. I mean, if you read the credits on some of the songs dre has like about there's literally like three or four people that's always listed as his production team a guy by the name of mike elizondo then we had mailman was at one time collaborating and still collaborate or used to collaborate with dre pretty heavy in the studio so i have always had those questions in my head like what did dre actually produce versus what he didn't actually produce but there was never a question in my mind that I didn't think that Dre could play the piano. I mean, the man has skills. I mean, why would you even question that? Like, my whole thing is not whether Dre could play instruments and play the piano. I definitely, obviously know that. Mine was, what exactly did he solely produce by himself and what did he give not give credit to someone else if that makes any sense or whatever but anyway to me it just struck me as quest love taking a shot at dr dre of some sorts like you know maybe quest love maybe was he taking a shot at dre or does he know something that we don't know about the lack of dre's production and he just takes the credit for a lot of his songs and doesn't give the credit to the rightful people that actually crafted the songs does dre craft his own songs does dre have ghost producers so i don't know i i just didn't like how quest love questioned it but you just never know maybe quest knows something that i don't know let me know what you think in the comment section
section. Regardless of whatever, Dre is still one of the my top hip hop producers of all time. Top two, him and DJ Premier. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this and the Super Bowl performance. This is AP. Thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all. Peace.